Hello everyone at the ASCO back at Hollywood Studios coming to you with another dining vlog. Uh, today I'm hitting up Backlot Express to see is this location as bad as I remember it being the last time I was here being well over, I, I, honestly like two years ago now. I haven't been back here in a while. Uh, and I'll get into that in a minute, but before I do, let me remind you all the videos we produce on this channel are brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. Our travel experts are standing by right now to help you plan that next vacation to no, no additional cost to you. All that info and more, down in the description below. But right, so we're at Backlot Express today, and how I kind of view this location is one of Hollywood Studios' basic quick service locations. And what I mean by that is I, I, I kind of label it into the same category of things like Cosmic Rays, uh, Electric Umbrella when it existed, the place that you would go to get your theme park food, chicken nuggets, french fries, burgers, you know, the basic stuff. Um, and I've never really enjoyed those items at Disney, um, especially with all the really unique dining options that we know Disney has come out with. Like at Hollywood Studios, we have Docking Bay 7, we have Ronto Roasters, we have Woody's Lunchbox, we have ABC Commissary even. Uh, and then you know what, I mean, Magic Kingdom is honestly lacking in that department, but you know, we have, of course, the Julie Canteen. We have lots of really cool, creative, quick service dining options is my point. And because of that, I really avoid the chicken nuggets and burger places. Um, but I figured, you know, let's head back because, uh, you know, a lot of people like theme park food and it is just like the most easily accessible for most families with picky eaters, with kids. A, a lot of times burgers, pizza, hot dogs, french fries, chicken nuggets, those are the safe bets. And I wanted to give it another shot. So that's what we're doing here today. Um, I opted to go with a basic option and got the chicken strips and fries. Uh, I know Craig and Rhino have both reviewed this place in the past year and they already checked out the vegan option. Rhino checked out the vegan option, which was the, uh, the hummus, and Craig checked, the, uh, checked out the Cuban sandwich, which I know they both said were pretty good. So those are the two items on this menu that would fall out of that basic theme park food category, and other members of the team have said those were quite good, and I'll find those videos and put them in the description below for you as well, so you can get a wider variety of the options here at Backlot, Backlot Express, because both of those items are still here right now. But like I mentioned, I got the chicken strips for $9.99. Comes with french fries. You can substitute the french fries for carrot sticks if you're feeling a little healthier. Uh, they have a little sauce bar. Um, you can get ketchup, mustard, barbecue. My s sauce of choice was the barbecue. Uh, not in, Their barbecue, I think, is Heinz. Uh, it's just, it's like a sweet barbecue. Nothing really spicy about it at all. And what did I feel about these chicken strips? Um, I'm going to avoid being dramatic because they weren't awful, but they're also not very good. I, I don't see myself finishing these. I also, with the quick service french fries that we got here, I've never liked Disney quick service french fries and I don't think I ever will. Um, they're just like, they're kind of just flavorless and you're just kind of tasting whatever you're dipping it in. With, with a fry, I like a nice crispy kind of oily um, texture and a crunch or like uh, maybe some sort of like saltiness to it. I don't know, you can just put salt on it, but I like when it's cooked up in the salt as well as maybe some sort of like other flavor, like Cajun seasoning or something. I used to just bland little quick service fries, never never really done it for me. And I, I fully expected that going into this, but I thought maybe, maybe I was overselling how bad the Disney chicken nuggets and Disney chicken strips are. Um, like, like I said, they're not the worst chicken strips in the world, but if I bought these at the grocery store and made them at home, I probably wouldn't buy that brand ever again and I'd try something else. Uh, but, but I would probably finish my lunch that day or something, you know. Um, I went into this fairly hungry too. Like it's not like I, I have been eating today, but this is the first non-sweets item I ate today. You're, you're watching this uh, on a different day, but this is the same day that I filmed the Christmas pop tart from um, Woody's Lunchbox. And that's the only thing I've eaten all day. It's about, I think like 2.30 now. 
Um, the only thing I ate today was that Pop-Tart. So this is like my first real meal of the day. I'm hungry and I still don't think I'm gonna finish these chicken strips. Are they edible? Yes. If I was a child, like 10, 11, 12 years old or younger, and I was served these, would I probably devour the whole thing and think they were delicious on a hot theme park day? Probably yes too, but I've gotten, I've gotten to be a little bit of a chicken tender con connoisseur over the years. I got a little bit more picky with my chicken tenders and these just aren't great. Um, so to answer the question, is Backlot Express really as bad as I thought it was? Well, in my opinion, still the theme park food options, uh, being just like the, the burgers, chicken nuggets, and fries, um, still not very good to me. However, it does appear that Backlot Express has two unique menu items in the, um, the, the club sandwich and the hummus plate that other members of the team thought were quite all right. So obviously they didn't try those in this review because we already covered them, but you can find Craig and Rhino's thoughts on those items in the description below, linked, linked at the bottom. But like I reminded you, these videos are brought to you by Dreams. That info is in the description below as well. That no obligation quote for your next vacation is waiting right around the corner and they do awesome things like if discounts pop up and, and you're not looking for them, they're just gonna apply the discounts for you. And there's a lot of awesome benefits to having a travel agent, whether or not you wanna do all the planning yourself or not. Um, so all that is down below. Thank you for joining me for my lunch, as mediocre as the lunch was. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.